Hi guys, welcome to another open source options tutorial. Today we're going to cover multiple things at once. We're going to cover um, some pandas functions um, and we're also going to cover a data science interview question from Google. And we're using the Stratascratch platform to do that. So this is stratascratch.com. Um, I'll include a link below in the description so you can get here. Um, and Stratascratch has a lot of coding questions, a lot of data science interview questions that can get you prepped for data science or for a data science interview. So I'm going to go over the coding questions. Um, and I'll just let you know that not all of the questions I'm doing here um, are available for free. A number of them are, but not all of them are free. If you're interested in the Stratascratch platform and would like a discount, you can use the code OSOptions. Um, to get a discount, and I'll put that code down below if you are interested. So remember, stratascratch.com and code OSOptions will save you 15%. Um, so I'm here at the practice questions now. Um, I want to find the Google questions. And we're actually going to do a hard question today. We'll cover a lot of different topics with pandas uh, that can be really useful. I'm going to go to difficulty. I'm going to filter by the hard questions. And I want to do this question that is to check if there is a correlation between the number of emails received per day and total activity time per day. So this is going to pull in some sample data um, from like number from emails and also from like a, a Fitbit or a, a watch, you know, that can tell you what your activity rate is. So let's go ahead uh, and open this question up. Okay, and so in Stratascratch here, um, the data is already going to be here. And um, I want to change this over here to Python instead of SQL. Okay, and I've already worked on this, so I have um, a solution in here. But I am going to get rid of that so that we can just start fresh. Um, okay, and so let's get started. This is going to tell us about our data here. So we have our Google Gmail emails, and we have Google Fit location. Uh, we have some information here which gives us uh, a user ID, the from user, the to user, and the day the email was sent. And here we have the um, user ID, session ID, step ID, the day, and the location information. So we're going to need to link these together by user um, which is ID and user ID will correspond to each other. Um, we're going to figure out how many emails were sent to a user each day and how much time was spent exercising each day. Um, and then we need to get the correlation between the time spent exercising and the number of emails received. Now I know that sounds a little complicated and it is a little complicated, but it's not going to be quite as hard as you think. So let's start out by getting the number of emails sent to a user on a given day. And we'll put this in a variable called mail, and this is going to equal Google Gmail emails, and we're going to group by to user and day. Okay, now if you don't know how to use group by, I have a video on that, and I will link that in the cards up above. We're going to group by two different columns. We're going to group by two users. We want to get the numbers that are sent to a user. We want to get how we want to get them for a specific day. Okay, so that'll group things together. And if we do this with size, that will give us just a count um, of how many emails are sent on a day. Okay? And we can actually test this out. We can come down here and we can uh, do mail.head, and this will print out. Um, the, the information from our data frame. So let's go ahead and click Run Code. Okay, and you can see here that we just have the zero column. We have one, one, one. So let's actually go ahead and send this to a data frame. So we can do to frame. Um, and let's name this emails, the column emails, so we know how many emails there are. And let's go ahead and run this code and see what it looks like now. Okay, so we run that, and you can see that we have the emails, but we don't have uh, anything that describes the user ID, which we do need. 
So right now we grouped by two user and day. And if we reset the index, it should put it uh, to two users. So let's go dot reset index. And the index is just the column that uh, will link things up uniquely. Let's go ahead and click run code. Okay, and so there you can see that once we reset the index, we now have this. And I'm just going to show you what this looks like real quick. I'm going to take off reset index. And we're going to do print mail.head so it prints out what we actually see with pandas. Let's run this code. And you can see here that this is groups. We have a single user here, and we have multiple days here, and we have the number of emails on each day here. And what we do is when we reset the index, it puts this, it just drags these all the way down, so it fills in those empty spaces. So that's why we're doing reset index here. Um, and now when we run this again, you can see that we have the, an index on the side. We're no longer using these columns as an index. We have a numerical index here, uh, and then we have these. Okay. All right, so we have that data frame, which is what we want. So the next thing we need to figure out is we need to figure out um, for these days, we need to figure out how much exercise was done. So that'll be the next step here. And so we want to create uh, a new data frame for that. Before we create a new data frame, we should take a look at our Google Fit Location data just to see what it looks like. So let's do, uh, we'll do print. I kind of like the way print looks a little bit. So let's do print um, Google Fit Location. Uh, and we'll print out the head of that. So let's click Run Code. Okay, so we have a user ID, we have a session ID, we have a step ID, and we have a day. Okay. Looks good. So it looks like um, for each step, each step is going to be associated with a day. And so if we have like 187, 186, 187, and we could have multiple days there. Uh, or we could have multiple steps on the same day. And so if we correlate the number of steps on a day to exercise, that might be the easiest way uh, to do it. So each one of these rows looks like it's for a specific step. Um, and so we can just sum up the number of steps. And so that's what we'll do here. So let's make a new data frame. And let's call this exercise. X for size, and we'll call this uh, Google Fit Location, and we want to group by again. So we're going to do group by, and here we want to group by the user ID. So we want to know for each user, we want the number of rows for a day. So it's going to be user ID and day. We want to get the size. Okay, and so now we're going to do two frame again. This is going to be pretty much exactly the same as before. We're going to rename this exercise. And then once again, we want to reset the index so that uh, we have the user ID and the day on each row. Okay, and now let's go ahead and let's just... Uh, print exercise.head. And let's see if this looks like it should. So we'll click run here. No attribute to frame. Oh, and that's because I didn't put parentheses on size. So this is really great with Stratascratch. You can type your code right in here. The data are all loaded up, and it gives you the error messages. So let's go ahead and click run code. Okay, so I have my user ID. I have my day, and I have the amount of exercise that occurred on that day. Cool. So now we're ready to join these two data sets together uh, so that we can then do find the correlation between them. And I'll break this code up oops, just a little bit here so that we can see things a little better. So now we need to join these two data frames together. And we can merge using uh, the pandas merge function. So let's create our merged data frame. It's going to equal pd.merge. Okay. And now we're going to give it the mail data frame and the exercise data frame. OK. 
okay? And then we want to give it on left. So this is going to be the left column we want to reference when we merge. And we want to do this for each user. So we want two user. Notice how our left data frame is male, our right data frame is exercise. And on right equals a user ID, okay? And I just checked and I got these backwards. It should be left on and not on left. Get that backwards sometimes, left on and right on. Oops, over one. Okay, user ID. So this will give us a merge data set. Let's just go ahead and check that. Um, so let's go print merge.head. We'll run this and make sure things line up correctly. Okay. And so you can see here that everything lines up with uh, the user ID and the exercise there. Okay. Cool. That is what we want to see there. So now the last thing we need to do is calculate the correlation. So let's just, we'll, we can do this in one line of code and we'll just print this out as we do it. If we want to do merged, we want to select a column um, and we want to get emails and we can call correlation with that C-O-R-R and we want to correlate it to merged exercise. Okay, so we've got that there. So let's go ahead and click run code and see what kind of number we get. Okay, and so we get a value that is 2572. So we get a, a negative value um, a very, I guess a, a big negative value, so a small, it's close to zero negative value, which indicates there's not much correlation between these. So let's go ahead and uh, just check and see if this is the right solution. We'll get rid of the print statement, we'll click run code, it prints out that number, and let's click check solution, and it says that our solution is correct, so we've done this properly. Um, now I will point out one thing, and that's that we're not sure how these days line up. You may have noticed the data frame, the day values were different for the exercise um, and for the emails, so we're not sure how those days line up exactly. But this is the general procedure for how you would do that. You can see we've solved it correctly with Stratascratch. We learned some new functions. Uh, we used an old one we've learned, which was group by, and we learned a new one, which was merge, and a new one, which was core or correlation. Okay, so that's how you can use Stratascratch to, to learn data science, to prepare for a data science interview. If you want to get a, um, a discount on a Stratascratch membership, go ahead and use code OS options, which is in the description below, and a link to the website is also in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments, uh, and I will try to get to them. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate your support, and have a great day.